little Pisces and cross watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Today we are going to take a look at your week ahead tarot reading for the 9th through the 15th. Please keep in mind guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time for every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart. It's really about the title here on the channel. If there's something in the title, there's most likely something in the message. I also do a drawing here every month for free personal readings. If that's something you're interested in entering, all you have to do is comment your astrological sign below. Pull a power thought card at every, in the end of every message just to give it that little positive boost. And lastly, guys, if you do find the messages helpful, that it's resonating, or just to support the channel, feel free to comment your astrological sign below. We'll get you entered into the drawing. We'll also help support the channel. So, chaos and conflict, serendipity, soulmates, and then TikTok on the bottom. So what I feel here is there's definitely conflicted energy, right? On one hand, you have chaos, conflict, um, things gone array. Serendipity talks about being happy or happiness, right? Being in that happy space, that happy moment. And then soulmates. So this very well could have to deal with the soulmate connection. Um, but I feel like there may be, it's kind of like a back and forth energy almost here, Pisces. It's almost like I get this sense, Pisces, where one minute you guys are very happy, very connected, very together. And then one minute there's like a conflict or chaos and everything's up in the air and uncertain. I do feel like you have a very strong connection with this person. I also feel here, Pisces, that um, everything is happening in divine timing. So with that, there's a lesson to be taken from all of this. Lesson to be learned here. So let's see. Let's see what we can see for you. most important message here for Pisces. What does Pisces need to see for the week of the 9th through the 15th spirit? We will do an overview message with this fairy tarot, and then we'll dive in with the regular tarot deck. So let's see here. Most important message here for Pisces. Pisces spirit, what does Pisces need to see? Four days, four weeks, four months is the timing on this situation. I feel like there, you're going to have to release something. Now, this very well could be this relationship. You have to let go of this in order to recalibrate the relationship. Um, it could be you're hanging on to something from the past that's causing resentment in this connection. I do feel like everything is happening in divine timing though, and I do kind of feel like it's at a crossroads where if you don't release this, then this is going to um, cause conflict within this situation. This is going to cause so much conflict that it's probably going to dissolve this relationship. So you're going to have to make a decision. And I also feel with the Eight of Springs, this is the Eight of Wands, there may be a need here for communication. There's a lot of new beginnings come, coming out of this 
overview message. So I feel here, Pisces, that um, there may be somebody who you have in mind for a new beginning. Um, it could also symbolize the recalibration of this relationship. So let's dig, dig a little bit deeper. The golden tarot. Most important message here for Pisces spirit. What does Pisces need to see for this week, the 9th through the 15th? What do they need to see regarding this change that's occurring? That was the wheel. That was the wheel of fortune, guys. Let's see, the next card out is going to be the timing, so. Two. So this wheel that's happening, this timing that keeps coming out, that keeps presenting itself. Um, the reason why this is occurring is to bring in balance, to bring in healing. Now, whether this is personally to you, Pisces, or within the situation, maybe it's both, it's going to resonate different for each person. However, I feel like this wheel that keeps popping up the reason why these delays keep happening here, Pisces, is because like I had mentioned before, there's a lesson that needs to be learned within all of this. And this may be together, okay? Maybe this is a lesson that you guys have to learn together. Maybe this is something that you guys have to learn separately, okay? Now, this lesson could have to do with belief systems surrounding relationships. Um, how you are presenting in relationships. Maybe it's the effort, the work, the time you put in to this. Maybe it's the expectations that you have. It's going to be different for each person. I do have personal readings available if that's something that you're interested in. However, I do feel like because you haven't completely healed, that's why there's this defensiveness, this resistance. To this connection. The communication card. Maybe this is surrounding communication or how you communicate. Whatever the case may be here, Pisces, this transformation needs to happen, needed to take place. Very well could have to be with maybe work, surrounding work. Maybe it's something having to do with your goals. Um, I feel like there is kind of a need here to focus, focus inward on self, um, to try to figure out these belief systems, these lessons that need to be learned here, Pisces. So how do we do that? Well, one way they teach you in psychology or in therapy, if you go to therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, they'll start the sessions out by having you basically write a timeline, okay? If you watch the review and release video that I link below in the description box, it kind of generally goes through the process of the review and release. Um, I also put in a couple kind of thinker questions to get your brains running. However, I do feel like there is a need here, Pisces, to um, create a timeline and review, review what's gone on in this situation, right? Um, take some time, really pay attention, be grounded when you're doing this. Take some time alone, okay? If you live with this person, it's best to maybe go to a different location, okay? I do feel like this decision that you're going to have to make is a very burdening decision because it's something that you don't want to do. Maybe you have to walk away from this person and um, you're not wanting to 
or can't see why, why it's beneficial for you guys to part ways. Sometimes we're not always going to know the reasoning behind why. do feel like you are kind of you kind of have your guard up there is a lot of resistance coming out in this reading and um taking the time here pisces to even just express yourself like i'm going through a lot right now within within the decisions that i'm having to make with the changes and i just need some time for myself it's as simple as that. It doesn't have to be stressful. It doesn't have to be complicated. All you have to do is communicate. Person's going to be like, okay. Or they're going to be like, not okay. You're going to know by that decision what is going to go on in this connection. Right? So don't be afraid also here pisces i feel like the decision here may be to walk away just to recalibrate this relationship this relationship has gone awry it's gotten stressful it's gotten chaotic you guys are at each other's necks most of the time in order to get your footing back if you will you're going to need to go within, take some time, and get clear what it is that you want out of the situation. So best and worst case scenario, plan them both out, and also review and release the past. Okay, there's something from your past here, Pisces, that's you're holding on to that's causing this conflicted energy that's causing this confusion. And that's exactly what I was feeling. So I feel like what's going on here, Pisces, is exactly what I was saying. And this is going to have to end, and I feel like that's what you're holding on to. This, this connection is going to come back together, no doubt about that. Okay, it very well could come back together in the future. For a lot of you, it will. For some of you, this won't come back together. This is the end all be all. There was definitely a lesson here that needed to be learned within the situation. For those of you that this is that recalibration of that relationship, there's going to need some patience. There's going to be some time. There may be some challenges. There may be some hard lessons that come up here. But in order for you to um, know the best thing for you to do, because if you know anything about twin flame soulmate connections, you know we have multiple soulmate partners, twin flame, but understand that those connections are to help us along on our ascension journey. And with that being said, Pisces, sometimes there's a situation arises where even if this is a soulmate, even if this is a twin flame, we still end up having to choose ourselves over the other person because maybe we've overstepped the boundaries. Maybe we've allowed them to too many exceptions for the rules or, you know, whatever the case may be. And now they're always overstepping that boundary. Okay. That's basically what I'm seeing here. It's like somebody who was always walking out on the person and you would always let them come back because you felt this connection and now you're kind of sick of that energy. And how do you fix that when you've always just allowed it? This person thinks it's okay. You're going to have to put your foot down at some point or accept the behavior. There's only one of two ways that that can go. I feel here that you're 
wanting this recalibration. And I feel also here, Pisces, that this person will come back around. So let's get a few cards here for the advice, Pisces. Um, no matter if the person comes back around or doesn't, the ultimate goal here is ascension. So the lesson that needed to be learned out of this is going to be found in reviewing and releasing. Let's get a couple cards for your advice, Pisces. I will do an extended reading on this too, guys. I'll take a look at this person's intentions. We'll go into a little bit of detail on this person's intentions. Um, and we will also um, try to dig a little bit deeper, see where this is headed. I feel like there is going to be a decision that's going to be made. Stand your ground. Stand your ground and stand up for what you believe is right. Okay, I also feel like focusing on what you're passionate about, everything's going to balance itself out. Okay, justice will prevail in here. But, Pisces, you're just causing yourself more pain, more anguish, more resentment by holding on to this connection. So let's see. Let's see. Most important message here for Pisces. It is safe to look within. As I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. I love what I see in me. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Pisces. That is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Again, if you want to get in on the extended reading, the link is below in the description box, guys. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.